There's no doubt about it, Kristoff is an absolute sweetheart, but there's something fishy about him, or rather his past. We've got some theories about what happened to Kristoff's parents that may shock you. Watch until the end to find out why Kristoff might not be who we think he is. Hang on! We like to go fast. I like fast! Whoa, 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 whoa! Kristoff is a Sammy outdoorsman who works as an ice harvester. He was raised by trolls and would much rather hang out with his reindeer Sven than real-life people. He's a fixer-upper with a heart of gold, but when it comes to his childhood, it's all smoke and mirrors. According to co-director Jennifer Lee, Kristoff grew up in an orphanage, but his free spirit stopped him from following the rules, causing him to sneak out and seek out the wilderness. At eight years old, Kristoff was adopted by Bolda and raised by a colony of trolls. Kristoff's parents allegedly gave him up when he was just a kid, which led him to grow up in an orphanage. Kristoff's parents are a total mystery. He doesn't remember anything about them. All he remembers before meeting the trolls is his reindeer, Sven. It's been revealed that Kristoff is a Sami, and the Samis are indigenous people who live in northern Europe. They're known for living outdoorsy lives in northern Sweden, Norway, and Finland. Although Samis are usually fishermen and trappers, they also herd reindeers and keep them as companions. So it's safe to assume that Kristoff's parents were from a Sami tribe. This explains why Sven and Kristoff have been inseparable since birth. Something terrible must have happened to Kristoff's parents. Why else would they leave him at an orphanage? It's possible that Kristoff's parents were reindeer herders who passed away on the job and never came home. With no one left to raise him, Kristoff was left at an orphanage with Sven, who would be a clear reminder of Kristoff's heritage. But since nature was in his blood, Kristoff couldn't help but run away and seek out the wilderness. This theory makes total sense, but there might be more to Kristoff's childhood than meets the eye. To say that Kristoff likes ice cream would be an understatement. When he was just a toddler, he began following a group of ice harvesters around and copying their every move. After poking around, we realized something pretty strange. Kristoff is wearing harvester clothing, and since orphans don't have money to buy handcrafted outfits, this sort of makes no sense. To add fuel to the fire, the harvesters seem to be taking care of Kristoff, which makes us think that his biological father is among the harvesters. But wait, isn't Kristoff an orphan? Well, we're not exactly sure that's the truth. What if Kristoff's mother was a Sammy who fell in love with an ice harvester? Since mixing with the outside world was forbidden, raising a half Sammy wouldn't have been an option. So after giving birth to Kristoff, his mom might have given up her baby to his biological father. But since she'd want Kristoff to know about his heritage, she left a baby reindeer by his side, knowing that they would take care of each other. This would explain Kristoff's heritage and why he has a pet reindeer and a knack for ice harvesting. But why would Kristoff believe that he he is an orphan. And why is his past so uncertain? Well, there's an explanation for that. After a long night of ice harvesting, Kristoff and Sven were on their way home when they saw two riders leaving the ice trail through the forest. They followed the mysterious riders into a clearing, where they witnessed the king and queen of Arendelle talking to trolls about their daughter's powers. The trolls wiped Anna's memory before Kristoff's very eyes, but before he could go home, a troll named Bolda found him and said, I'm gonna keep you. Instead of asking him if he was lost, Bolda basically kidnapped Kristoff in a very subtle Disney type of way. While the trolls in Frozen are absolutely adorable and kind, there are many reasons to believe that this is all an act. In Scandinavian history, it was common knowledge that trolls used to steal young children and bring them into the mountains. Those who would manage to get away would often experience bouts of confusion. Some even lost their memories altogether. It's possible that Bolda erased Kristoff's memories, making him believe that he was an orphan. This way, he wouldn't want to run away. It's also said that the trolls could procure a changeling, which is a carbon copy of a child they just stole. They'd send this changeling back to the child's parents so that they'd be none the wiser. But there'd be something off about the changeling, and many parents would soon realize that their child had been replaced. Kristoff's childhood is a blur, which makes us believe that his memories were indeed erased by the trolls. During Anna and Kristoff's first sleigh ride, Kristoff scolds Anna for getting engaged to a stranger. D didn't your parents ever warn you about strangers? And the fact that Kristoff says this makes us think that he does, in fact, remember his parents but can't recall their names or faces. Bolda definitely didn't teach him this lesson because, well, she was the stranger he shouldn't have trusted. If Bolda and Pabby really did erase Kristoff's memories, this means that Kristoff's parents are probably still alive, but whether or not they're still looking for him is up for debate. It's safe to say that the trolls in Frozen seem like genuinely kind people. Kristoff is far from being a prisoner and the trolls help those in need. While we don't know exactly what happened to 
Kristoff's parents, there are only a few possible options. Either his parents tragically passed away in a typical Disney fashion, or Kristoff wandered off and was later adopted by Bolda. We would love to find out about Kristoff's past in Frozen 2. If his parents are still alive, there's a very good reason that we'll meet them in the upcoming sequel. Or perhaps we'll find out what really happened to them. So do you guys think that Kristoff's parents passed away when he was a young baby? Or are his parents out there searching for their long-lost son who wandered into the woods and never returned? Let us know what your theories are down below. And that's a wrap. For more videos about your favorite Disney characters, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up while you're at it. Thanks for watching The Things. We'll catch you next time.